Good day folks. If you watched one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to use telemetry data in your videos and put overlays over video shot on your GoPro. Now with photos, it doesn't have the same amount of data, but there are some data, some telemetry data that is stored in photographs when taken on your GoPro, such as elevation and GPS location, which can come in handy if you want to figure out where something was shot. Now GoPro Quick doesn't have any built-in tools to access any of this information. I'm sure it will come sometime down the road in future versions, but there are some nice third-party software applications that will allow you to access the GPS data. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to enable GPS if you haven't done so already, just to make sure all the telemetry data is recorded to your videos and to your photos. So we're going to swipe down when the camera is powered on. We're going to click on Preferences, and we're just going to scroll down until we see the GPS options and there it is there we're going to click on it and we're just going to put on and just like that so just like that it's now enabled and you can kind of see the little grayed out gps icon there once you're outside right now where i'm indoors so it's not going to connect to a satellite but once you're outdoors that will light up so always make sure that that's lit up and then you know that it's recording gps telemetry data so now let's go on the computer and i'll show you how to access some of the gps data from your photographs well folks, so now we're on the computer here and I'm just going to be using these photographs as an example. It's a waterfall called Glen Rock here in Ontario. Just a small little waterfall. Beautiful place to visit. So a couple different ways and there's many different programs you can use to access the telemetry and GPS data that gets embedded into photos. Uh, like I said, GoPro Quick does not support it yet, but I'm sure it will come sometime in the near future. So the first way is we can just get the properties of the photo. So if we right click on it, now this is going to be using Windows 10 and the other techniques I'll be showing will be using Windows 10. On Windows 10, you can right click if you hit properties and go over to details. Here it'll give you a lot of information about the photograph, the ISO, the f-stop, all kinds of information. And if we scroll down, you can see there it gives us some GPS information. It gives us our latitude and longitude. It also gives us our elevation or our altitude. So another way to access this data is to open up the photograph using the built-in photo viewer that comes within Windows 10. So if we open up this photograph and uh, we can click over here and we select file info. Right away, if you notice here, it's going to come up with a little map. So it's reading the GPS data that is embedded within this photograph of the location. So we can now hit open map. And you can see here, it's shown us right exactly this photograph was taken. So it's kind of handy, you know, if you've taken a lot of photographs and you can't quite remember where something was photographed. If we zoom all the way in, it's actually pretty accurate because that's exactly where I took the photograph. So let's just switch to satellite view. And we can zoom in. And yeah, that's exactly where the falls is. There's a river here. And there's a little bit of a lake basin there. So you can access all the same location data for photos taken on your GoPro that you've transferred over to your iPhone. Simply bring up the photo that you would like to find the location of. Click on the Details tab at the top. And there, if you scroll down, you'll find a map, and it'll show you exactly where the photograph was taken. You can zoom in, you can switch to satellite view. So that's a handy feature, and uh, sorry about the shaky footage, this was kind of an afterthought. Well folks, hopefully you found this video informative, if you were wondering how you can access some of the GPS data that gets embedded into your photographs. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.